Now, with PSE index rallying about three straight days on Friday, will this momentum continue or will externalities have their way? Which bargains are about? Now, to talk about to us about this week's outlook for specific market drivers inside and outside the economy is Edmund Lee, financial analyst at City Securities and president of the Calum Trading Institute. Edmund, good to have you with us. How are you? Us. How are you? Well, let's talk about what the direction is for the index this week. Are you seeing sideways trading? Are we looking at closer to the 7,000 level or support levels? Well, to be honest, I think we're closer to the bottom than, than anything else. So I, we think a lot of factors, especially from the externals, have already been factored in. So we're actually looking for a rebound back into the rate hike, possible rate hike in December. In December, with the FOMC meeting yeah, coming FOM, up. Yeah. Now, one of, the, one of the things we're looking at also is, you know, given the relative valuation, what bargains are you looking at in terms of sectors and stocks right now for the index? Well, if you look at the overall market broad base, it's actually gone down a lot. So it's actually trading around 15 and a half to 16 times forward. And we think it's really, really reasonable given the circumstances of, um, I mean, of the long term fundamentals of the country. So if you talk about individual sectors, what we like is still the infrastructure and some of the consumer plays. So just to give you guys on the infrastructure side is that cement companies such as Semex Holding, we, one of our top picks, we think the, aside from the infrastructure, but also on the funding for the infrastructure, like BDO, we think will also do well. And some of the consumer stocks will also do well, like your SM, your malls, and your DNL industries as well. Well, you look at ecosystem for growth, especially with the government spending a lot more money yeah. in these consumer sectors coming up. Now, one of the things about the government is they're looking really at uh, you know investing, even equities themselves. SSS looking at investing in the utility sector, uh, looking at power and sector, and even up to 25% equity in certain companies. Which companies and which sect specific sectors are you looking at in terms of this potential play for SSS? Well, it's still a far, far process, but I think it's actually good for a lot of these guys because. I th one of the main issues for the government is trying to break down the, not just the utilities though, but even for the telcos. So it's, it's, it's nice to see your utilities, let's say your, your EDCs, your Aboitis powers, diversified, let these guys come in and at least you help promote for the consumer, benefits of the consumer, not so, for anybody else. Well, certainly, I mean, in SSS being, or even GSS looking at Anchor yeah, or, or yeah. you know, a white knight in terms of these investments. Now, what's your outlook for the index in year end and what externalities are you looking, what metrics are you looking at to be able to see where the index is going? Uh, I think we're, we're still bullish on our target. We're actually looking at 2017. Our target is still 8,400. Quite um, optimistic, aren't you? Yeah, we are very optimistic. We, we are very bullish on uh, the Philippine environment. We think this is a very good opportunity to be buying. Now, if you look at specific metrics, I mean, you've got the Chai Shin PMI coming out, or you've got the FOMC meeting. What other externalities and tea leaves are you looking at to be able to see yeah, how the, high it's going to go? Two of the most important things right now is looking at your bond yields. Yeah. So it's your interest rates. So we think the 50 basis points that the market has already gone up, it's already been priced in. Unless we see a surprise in December, sure. which I doubt. It's just see. a quarter of a percent that it's people a, are looking at anyway. Yeah, right? yeah. and uh, your currency, which is your peso and your US dollar. And what's your outlook for the peso by year and just in case uh, <laughs> you, you have some We in actually direction. don't have that, but we think it could depreciate some more. All right. Well, and anyway, that certainly, I mean, there's a flip side to that. You've got the importers not have, being happy, but the exporters certainly yeah. being happy with yeah, that as well. Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, Edwin, thank you so much for your insights. I appreciate it. And we will have you on the show soon enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.